How would you like to improve your serve? Well, in today's video, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with my serve as a right-hander and with a recreational club player committed to getting better with his serve. It's going to help you understand the serve better so that you can serve your best on the court. My name is Jeff Salzenstein, the founder of Tennis Evolution, former top 100 ATV player, affectionately known as the serve surgeon. <laughs> We're going to get into this video today, but first make sure you're subscribed, your notifications are turned on, and share this video if you feel like it can help others. So let's get into this serve side-by-side -side comparison. The first thing I like to look at is the stance. So if you see a comparison with the stance here, the similar place in the motion. This foot is turned out too much. This back foot is turned out a little too much. Also, the posture of this player here, he's a little more bent over at the uh, at the hips, not as tall. So those would be two things I would change. I would not be as turned with this back foot. I probably wouldn't have this foot back as far. Most players can't really uh, serve efficiently with that stance. This is about as extreme as I would go for most club players. Also get the upright body posture. You'll also notice that there's more weight on my back foot here compared to this player. It looks like the weight is equal. We want to get more weight on the back foot at this phase of the swing. Okay, now we want to look at what's happening when the ball is released. Okay, so let's see where the racket is when the ball is released. Now this player has tried to model his serve probably after my serve, but you can see that he's a little bit higher than I am. He could be a little bit lower at this phase of the swing Looks like he's really initiating the turn before he tosses the ball. We want to start turning more after the ball is released. So you can see there's not a ton of turn once the ball is released. Now, look at how turned he is. Okay, right there. So look at the difference. Look at the difference. Do you see how this player is really squatting? He has too deep of a knee bend. He's squatting. He doesn't quite know how to use his pelvis properly. So he's getting his power by squatting down instead of pushing the hips forward, tucking the tail, getting into a better alignment. If we were to see this player uh, from his side view, we would see it probably a curve in the low back. We call it an S posture. Or this is a more neutral spine. I'm guessing that this spine would be more curved at the lower back. You can also see how low the hand is here compared to Myself right here, my hand is just below the ears. This hand is way below the shoulder. So there's an issue with the elbow position and being too turned and squatting down. And now you can see this foot is even turned out more, okay? With the, with the foot turned towards the back fence, this one is parallel, okay? Parallel to the side, or parallel to the back fence. This is perpendicular or turned towards. So we've got a stance issue, we've got too much legs, and we've got too low of an elbow. Obviously, we'd like to get this arm, tossing arm straighter as well. So this elbow is low. Really good racket drop here. So there's a lot of potential in this serve, but we got to just get the setup to be better. Okay. Pretty similar, pretty similar position, but you can already see how the back leg is starting to bend. We see this with club players. We want to try to keep that back leg straighter. It's bent at contact. Not a ton of pronation there with the bent leg. We want that leg straight. You can see there's a little more pronation on this side. Um, not, not a huge difference, but we want to get this body position better with the leg. Okay. Pretty good landing, good balance. Overall, what I would do is I would focus more on the stance at the beginning, less knee bend, and getting the hips to tuck better, which is pretty challenging for most players to understand. So I always advise people, if they really want to come out to Denver and work with me, I can show them the drills and the exercises. Of course, I can send it to them as well. I hope you enjoyed today's video. You learned a lot from it. We want to, again, get the elbow higher. We want to get the stance better, and we want to use the pelvis better and not drop the leg so far, not squat down as much. Okay? Again, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed. Leave comments and questions below. Turn your notifications on. I've also got a free gift for you. Actually, two free gifts. One gift is to learn the three serve myths that are letting players down all over the world with their serves. We'll give you the solutions as well. Click the link in the description below. Might be a link somewhere in this video as well. We're also offering a free course inside our Tennis Evolution app. Absolutely free. 
free lessons on the serve, the forehand, footwork, and strategy. All you have to do is click the link in the description below as well, and you can pick up access to that free app, free course, and you get to watch these lessons on the go. It's like having a coach in your pocket. We'll see you at the next lesson. Thanks for your time today.